manager Stuart Bordley after a uh, pretty superb away performance I think today Stuart. Do you agree? Yeah yeah you know it's really really difficult conditions um, obviously the pitch pitch was very wet beforehand and it, and it cut up quite bad but I think it was just one of those games where we where we needed to compete and, and whoever won the battle would, would ultimately win the war and I think I think we did that for, for the, the duration. Um, I thought the lads were fantastic, togetherness fantastic, the defending and, and some of the sort of last gasp tackles and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I thought we were we were really good for minute minute one to minute ninety. Yeah, um I mean they obviously scored with a deflected early goal in five minutes. I suppose the, one of the most important things of the match was getting back in it so quickly. Yeah, I think you know, they're a really good side. You know, they've got two good managers, they they're a really, really good side, they're well drilled, they've got some experienced players. So to come here, um, which is a really difficult place to come and, and go one nil down early on, but show show that real resilience and commitment to what we were trying to do, um, with the way we set up was fantastic. And yeah, getting that, that sort of early equaliser was gave the boys a real sort of foothold in the game and real confidence and, and then they went on from there and I just just felt the togetherness and the resilience was, was really, really good. Yeah, I mean from the sidelines you could see that especially first half Deerham had a couple of good chances. They were they were running, you know, doing yeah. all the running weren't they? But we were putting the chances away at the end of the other end, weren't we? Yeah, they've got a really, really dangerous front three. Um, you know, Logan on the right, Hibson on the left, they, they cause problems, you know, they, they get the ball to feed, they get at your full backs, um, much like um, sort of Henry Barley does for us, really. Um, so they cause you problems on both wings and, you know, they, they did cause us problems. They got balls into the box, they got big Sean Bamant in there who, who can score if you give him an opportunity. But, you know, back four, I thought, were really, really good today, really solid. Midfield three, really solid. and and. You couldn't really pick anyone out of out of our team as a standout. I just think from one to eleven, they they worked hard for each other, and and that's the absolute bare minimum you have to do in this league. Yeah. Um. Look at that second half. It had a bit echoes of the Canvey game last week, really, where second half we didn't let them play, we didn't let them come into it, and then we scored at the crucial time. Yeah. We twenty said, minutes into the half, we said at half time exactly that that you know we're in a similar position to Canvey. We're, we're up in the game. We go out there, we don't concede, we win the game. It's, it's, you know, when you say it like that, it's a rel relatively simple game. But, you know, I thought that they, they took that on board. The, the midfield got their shape and their distances all, all right. The pressing was good. Um, yeah, it's a complete away performance, I think. Excellent. Um, so that's what ten points now in the last four, beating the second and the fourth placed teams in the last two games now. Uh, you must be round to go for Thursday now. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, you know the players as well. We've still got a few out with COVID, which is marvellous. Hopefully, we'll we'll remain kind of clear moving forward in in, in the next few days. Um, but if we don't, again, we'll adapt. We'll deal with it as we have done so far, and and hopefully put on a good show at home to Molden on the thirtieth. Brilliant. Well, I hope your voice is back by then. I can see it's fading a bit. Um, I think it was that line though. Line yeah. over there yeah, took a bit of that. Uh, but thanks a lot and well done for today. Brilliant. Thanks everyone. Thanks for all coming out to support us as well. It was really, really great and the superb, superb support today, you know, in the in the really, really bad conditions was great. So thank you.